Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, it's a Wednesday and uh, another update has come. And it's something that has to do with Farah in Veildale. So let's get started with the quest. I've already done half of it, so like so I'm just gonna just start. Like business is off to a great start. But the truth is, a store was never my dream. Can I share my vision with you, Isabel? Sure. You might not guess it's based on how I'm dressed now, but I was raised in Yorvik City. Growing up, the closest I came to feeling Aideen's presence was eating ice cream beneath her statue in the city plaza. I didn't even know I had a family in Veildale until Grandma got sick. Mom and Dad brought me here and exclaimed, ex explained how they had moved away from the Druid life and never looked back. How did this news make you feel? Not gonna lie, at first I was a little embarrassed. Being a kid, city kid, druids were not cool, but this attitude didn't last long. I spent as much time as I could learning from my grandma about druid traditions. She taught me how to live off, off, off of Jorvik's natural bounty how to survive and thrive on the things you find in nature. There are traditional crafting techniques known only on this island that have been passed along since prehistoric times. With so many, like my parents, abandoning those traditions, the no knowledge was in danger of disappearing completely. So I decided that as soon as I was old enough, I would travel throughout Jorvik to meet with, with other elderly Druids, like my grandma, and learn all I could from about them about living in harmony with Jorvik. That's incredible. I know. Wherever I traveled, I found others like my grandmother with so much to share. It was an honor to learn from all, them all. It was also on my journey. It, it was also on my journeys in the cu country of Evermist when I, that I met Toby there. Here. Now that my travels are over, I want to share what I have learned about forging, crafting, and community. Will you join me as an apprentice, Isabel, in making the, making this, in helping make this a dream real a, a reality? Count me in. Okay, so I guess we're going to help um, Farah with some stuff. That's my dream, Isabel. I hope you'll help me make it, it a reality. Excuse me for a moment. I think I see a customer. Hiya, Al Avalon. Back again so soon? <clears throat> yes, Miss Farah. I have seen to run out of the most delicious tea you sold me. Do you have any more I might have purchased? I'm afraid I'm all out of herbal tea, but it shouldn't take long for me to get more. Mm -hmm. Really? Who is your supplier, I, if I might ask? Mm -hmm. The forests of Jorvik. I forged the ingredients myself. Mm -hmm. Ah, that explains it. Of course we have Aideen to thank for such a delicious beverage. Mm -hmm. How about this? As soon as we have more... We'll bring it to your house. Ha mm -hmm. <laughs> ha! Such amazing service. You are a blessing in this community, Farah. To fill Avalon's order, I'll need to go foraging, but that means closing up the shop. What am I going to do? Get Crafting things. The Farah way starts out finding the ingredients yourself. If you're going to help my workshop become a reality, we should start with a lesson in forging. Forging, follow me. Okay, I guess we're going to follow Farah over to, I guess, right here. Pretty short. Like, it's oh. literally... I set up this bench to showcase the many ver ver versatile materials you can find. As you explore Jorvik, let's go through them together. First we have the flax, a true miracle plant. Fibers from the stalk can be used to make linen, while the seeds can be pressed to make linseed oil. Next is a Jorvisian, Jorvisian variety of the, the reed known as jute. This hardy and versatile plant can be used to make rope and sack sackcloth. Mm. Here is stone, moss, one of nature's great purifiers in a dis with a distinctive green hue. Oh. Bee balm is a lovely fl flower noted it for its soothing qualities and rich purple colors. Mm. 
The rubia plant might look humble on the surface, but its crimson roots make for a beautiful red dye. Finally, these aromic flowers are wild chamelone. They're, they're the star ingredient in the tea Avalon is so fond of, among other uses. Please don't try to take the samples from this bench to use your recipes. They are for educational purposes only. And thus concludes our crash course for forge, uh, in forging. I'll leave the samples here so you can study at your leisure. I've written field notes with the tips from where you can find them in the wild. Soon, you'll learn to make supplies for all of these ingredients, but right now, we just need one plant in order to fill Avalon's order. Okay. Wild cam chamomile is a main ingredient in the herbal tea and is quite common on Jorvik. It grows in sunny meadows away from water. You should be able to find some growing nearby. I seem to remember a patch growing near a burned down house near the road to the south. Go and pick two chamomile flowers. When you come back, we can take them to my workshop and craft some tea. Okay, crafting ingredients grow throughout Jorvik. They will stay in your inventory until you craft, discard, or sell them, even if you even if you end your session. Okay. So, yeah, I don't... So let's go... I think it's by the old summer house is where we're supposed to pick pick the chamomile tea the chamomile flowers so let's go there burnt down house I can think of and there it is the chamomile flower right there and it's flying over my head <laughs> that's funny so let's go back to Farah and craft this for Avalon Okay, so at least she gives us hints. So where do I craft them? Where do I craft stuff? Oh, down here. I was like, oh my word, where do I craft stuff? So do I craft anything down here? I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? Like, am I supposed to dismount and... Am I supposed to, like... Um, like, what am I supposed to do? Do I just go back up to Farah and give it to her? I'm so confused. 
Like, what am I supposed to do? Give this to Farah? Two of them? Oh, great. Well, I'll be right back here when I connect, co collect the other chamomile flower. Okay, so I've collected the second one, and we can now talk to Farah again. These flowers will do nicely. Hang on to those. You'll need them next. If we're going to get Avalon his tea, we need to bring out the potential of those ingredients. I think it's time I introduce you to my next phase of my dream. Follow me. Okay. So we're going down here to the crafting place where I just was, where I was so confused of what to do. I should read more carefully of all of this. <laughs> Welcome to the Riverside Workshop. It's here that I hope to pass on techniques for crafting from sustainable ingredients found right here on Jorvik. It's been quite an effort setting up my sh op shop on my own. <laughs> Sorry, Toby, you're right. You've worked so hard to keep away the mice. Isabel, if you're going to, to apprentice with me in crafting, your journey starts now. There are three workstations. Help me unpack, and we'll set up each so you can familiarize yourself with the tools and functions of each. Okay, so let's get started by take, getting the workbench set up right here. <laughs> so funny how we like can build like that. It looks like we're actually building. This is the Taylor work workstation. Here, you can find fashion clothing for any recipes you've unlocked. Ooh, I'm gonna like that one. That's probably gonna be my most favorite one. I wonder what this one's gonna be. Forgot to close my chat. Next up is the Satterly Workstation. You'll find tools for working, making all manner of tack based on your recipes. Forgot to close my chat. Now, that one. I like the clothes one. What's this one? It's like so much fog. N um, last but not least, we have the su supplies workstation. Here you can make useful items that people around Jorvik might need, like the tea that Avalon asked for. So I guess where that's where I'm going to make start making the tea. I'm glad you could be here to help finish the workshop. After all, my dream of spreading traditional crafting techniques is a community effort. Now it's time to turn the wild chamomile that you forge into supply of refreshing herbal tea. Go ahead and use the supply workstation that we set up before Toby and I will stay here and supervise. So I guess we're going to start by the supply station. So the supplies workstation is used to craft items needed to fulfill orders. So to craft, yes, we have that. So let's continue. <laughs> like, I can't even see myself. Oh, now that's cool. Like, I created something. Like, I'm holding it. Like, I'm evil. There's always a glitch with people. You've proven yourself to adept apprentice in harvesting and crafting. Now it's time to bring the things full sight circle. So let's go to the order board and select Avalon. So where's the order board? board. Convincing the people of Jorvik to trust in handcrafted supplies made from local ingredients will take time. But I'm confident that when customers see these good for, goods for themselves, they'll become customers for life. Take Avalon. Once he tried my recipe for herbal tea, he won't drink anything else. I set up an order board here in the workshop that lists which customers are looking for which goods each day. I went ahead and added Avalon's order to the board. Since I won't always be here to supervise the process, you should go ahead and practice signing up for a delivery. Okay, so here's the order board. Use Bear's order board to select and order fulfill. Okay, so where's the order board? Um, no, not that. I can't find where the order, oh, it's up here. Okay. Stuck in my horse. Okay. Okay. There's the order board. Okay. Avalon needs herbal tea. Okay. 
So, great, you're si now signed up to deliver herbal tea to Avalon. I trust you know where to find him? Mm -hmm. As a regular customer, Avalon has a delivery box where you can leave his order. It looks like this. Mm -hmm. Once you've completed the delivery, come back and we can review what you've learned. Okay, so we gotta go to Avalon, but first I've gotta get my horse because that is quite a way, quite a trek without my horse. Why did I even leave him down here? Let's go going to be quite a long not like it would have been a long trek for me to d do that well like without a horse but like for me it's not like on my horse it's fine so where's the mailbox i'm supposed to deliver to uh, i see it so i guess i'm gonna have to go around here because i always fail to get up on the cliff right there so let's deliver to that mailbox Yes. Okay. What brings you to my cottage, Isabel? Don't tell me the rune stems are singing again. Dear, oh dear, what calamity is befalling Jorvik this time? I have your delivery of herbal tea. Mm. Praise Aideen. What sweet relief. I tell you, Farah's blend is the best I've ever had. I'm helping Farah expand her workshop. Mm -hmm. Keeping the traditional ways alive is indeed a noble mission, Isabel. May Aideen smile on your adventure. I know that I'll be ordering from Farah's workshop again, and I'll be sure to tell my friends to do the same. Thank you, my friend. Here's your payment for the tea. Until next time. Okay, so there, and we better go back and talk to Vera about this. Inter, like, in, um, I don't even know, <laughs> I can't speak today. Um, review the, quest, the, what the delivery I did. And she's right here. Here she is. Congratulations on completing your first order. Uh, uh. Why isn't it? Oh my word. What's wrong? Okay. Forging, crafting, and delivery, you have the skills to help this workshop grow. Let's recap. Okay. So, with my recipes, you can craft from materials that grow naturally around the island. You can find these ingredients as you explore. The supplies workstation will allow you to convert ingredients into practical, practical goods that the people of your need. The orders b order board show which customers are buying what supplies today. I'll refresh the board with new orders every day. As you gain experience in crafting supplies, you can earn recipes for clothing and tack. Uh -huh. Building a brighter tomorrow by spreading a passion for sustainable handmade goods. That's my dream, and I'm so happy that we can make a re reality together. <laughs> You're ready to start crafting and completing jobs on your own. Keep up the good work, and I'll be in touch soon. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!